Oh, this is, uh, this is, the tables have turned. It's not my turn to be criticized, it's your turn. <laughs> you have submitted your disasters to us. You have labeled them disasters and given us permission to critique them. That's what we're gonna do. So let's check them out. Kira Luna Art, there you go. So we've got some cool oh, illustrations Oh yeah, here. like Robert Downey. Proper like portraits, really cool stuff. Get in. That's great. Oh yeah. They know this they stuff. Can draw That's great. Very cool. And then this will help setting the standards so we sort of know the scope of like what we're commenting on. Yeah. So this is what Kira Luna thinks is their disaster. I can't stop laughing about this place. Okay. All right. I can see that. There's, I think. It's his, a bit like a monkey. I think they've gone for like heroic masculine energy with the warrior, but there's, there's gorgeous eyes and a nice little upturned nose here. Let's improve it with Jazz's new digital brush set. Are you plugging my brushes? I this this video, great video. This video, <laughs> what, yeah, this is the best artwork I've ever seen. It's just, it's just oh, there's nothing wrong with this. Oh. Nice lighting, yeah. That's and you brilliant. primarily do traditional, but you're doing a great job. Like, yeah. This is translating really well. I mean, I like it. Yeah, it's good. Well done. So uh, now we have Strange Time Comics. Let's check out your disaster. Okay, I, I, I can actually give some expertise on you this one. You can. <laughs> you can. This is your moment to shine. You're the horse person. Yeah. This right. is not a horse I would buy. No. Firstly, uh, his hind legs are backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we just need to reverse them. Sort of a little footsie. They look like toddler legs. That's pretty cute. Yeah, he is cute, yeah. but not a horse I would buy. I also am interested in his like butt rolls. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> there's a lack of generally mouth. Yeah, and there's like a nose, like a snout, like a reindeer, like dog nose sort of mm -hmm. thing. What the hell is with this horse? They say cowboy's cool. He's, he's seen some stuff. He's got a very, very long <laughs> forearm. And a very short upper arm. And but you know what? Very short upper arm. Everything we're commenting on, I've done. Like this is, it's just part of the journey. So, and everyone who's, I can't help but start apologizing. Yeah, I don't know what you're doing know, this well, I know, I know. He says people, it himself. People know what they're in for. Uh, let's check out more shake first. Okay, we've got a variety of art here. Very, uh, we've got some very cool sort of digital art. Very cool Ooh. style, yeah. Okay, so we've got someone who's, you know, competent digital artist. What is your disaster? What? Ooh. I, I was just gonna pause. I'm fascinated before we get to the disaster. By the character. Yeah, what do they use? Is this character animator? It's very, like the physics in the various areas of the character. That's pretty gnarly. Okay, so, but I think we're about to see Morshake's earliest it's version of their teeth. character of avatar. <laughs> oh, I do agree, it does look unfinished. This is an inorganic way of moving. Like, it, it's... Really? A... <laughs> Alfheim Arts has one video. And, it and is... it's for us. And it's for us. So we've Thank no you. context. Thank you. Here we go. Now, talk to me about what they're doing here. They're adding shading. They've done a sketch. Know. Adding shading to their sketch. Is, is this a good way to start? This is fine. Okay, well, admittedly, I didn't realise that's what they were going for when they started. You know what, though? I, I don't think that's a disaster. I feel. Oh, it's like a Mona Lisa pose. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. It looks like a character that would work really well on a set of Star Wars. Practical effects makeup, that is great. That's a good character concept. I think it's good. Not very disastery. Depending on what, what you were going for. All right, lifelong artist. This is their disaster submission. Eating someone in a toy factory. I see it. Yeah, yeah I can it see looks it. Cool. Yeah. I like like the hands good. The pose is, is very yeah. creepy. So it's slightly awkward arm pose, but otherwise, like you know, it's coming together well. It looks great. Artists are very hard on themselves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, is, this is very good artwork. I don't know if he's sort of commenting that the vanishing points of the statue are different to the vanishing points of the building, which is fine. But compositionally, it looks great. So it could be a very reasonable artistic choice. Well, I, 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 would, I think this is this is sort I would of draw a, like this guy. Yeah, I, th I think this is like you a did showcase. Really good of job. Some people, and th this is the lesson to take from this video. This is the moral. We have a moral in the video. We're all very critical of ourselves, that's and it. then other people see it, and we're like, "Oh, that's really good." Oh, uh, yeah, I would love to see yeah. you finish that. Yeah. As our old friend Will Terrell used to say, there are two skills when you're an artist. There is the skill of making art. 
But then there's the skill of critiquing art. And as you develop your ability to make art, you get better at critiquing your own art. So you see more mistakes. And sometimes they're out of line. So sometimes your art is good and your critiquing ability is better. So all you see are your mistakes, even though you're improving and you're making good stuff. I see really good stuff. You're obviously really good at critiquing yourself, but you're also really good at making art. <laughs> Don't be too hard on yourself. Meanwhile, Finn and Ix doesn't necessarily put up a lot of artwork, but we do have a desert stuff. Okay, so this is your reference image. Clearly a learning piece. The main mistake I can see here is you've got all these lines everywhere. So you've gone to like follow shapes with lines. But if I were using this piece as a reference, it's shade first. You're following the, the shapes because they create the proportions between each other. The habit that artists have, especially when you're inexperienced, when you're copying from a reference, is to draw what you think you see. Yeah. So rather than drawing that eye and that forehead, you draw what you, you start drawing an eye and a forehead and like you get these mismatched pieces because you draw what your brain thinks it needs to draw. Right. Rather yeah. than what your eye is looking at. I agree with Finn. The proportions are way off. All right. Let's see what else Finn's done. Here's piece, piece two. two. Reference. Super cool okay. reference. It was one of my first times working with oil paint. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can see there's like a general tone of colour and then there's a handful of really clear, strong, contrasting strokes. This is a little more like loading oil paint into a shotgun palette and pfft. I feel like these are two frames of an animation. It's literally like this is after the, before the and contact. after someone's hit him in the yeah, face. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's like boom, pow. Yeah. <laughs> Stan Strake. Let's see Stan's learning piece. This is my disaster. A towel, a carpet. The suspense is killing. The suspense is killing us. Come on, come on, come on already! Oh, uh, okay, yeah. This is a proportions thing. And most of it is proportions. Proportions is hard. hard. Yeah, and it's the first challenge people learning art have. I love this annotation. That's, is it just ew? That's ew. That's, <laughs> that's EW. That's so relatable though. Like yeah. every I've done like I've done drawings where I literally just cross it out and write nut. Miyukiya Yart. So let's check out your disaster. First digital artworks and the background is so ugly. I'm <laughs> Did you Yes. Was your <laughs> Yes. Your eyes were drawn to the same yes. framing mechanism mine was. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> yes. Let's just say you've learnt a lot, which is great. Yeah. You've come a long way. It's cool when someone shares their desert stuff and then you go look at their profile and you're like, that's better. <laughs> <laughs> this is so dark. It's very, yeah, very moody. I sort of almost like it. That is Ooh. hard to see everything. <gasps> Whoa! Hey. Wow! Why do I like this person's disasters? I think the way it's filmed adds to the mood. Yeah. yeah. Maybe that's the trick. When you share your disasters, if you show it in broad daylight, it's gonna show look, them dark and yeah. really with some. Just be like, before I show you my sketchbook. Ah. What do you think? Well done, David. Sai Panda. That's quite good though. That's fine. Ah, it's on a mug. The eye on the left is well. The character's left is higher than the other one. It's a common mistake. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this is more a uh, practical. I get it. Stuff. Sometimes I have done things that I have just felt like doing. This that. is how you paint. Yeah. Yeah. Is this um, I on think, purpose or did this no, come off? No, no. They've it painted was... on a Posca thing. They haven't primed it. They haven't sanded it. So it's just been peeling off grossly. Yeah. So any hot drink or pretty much any moisture. And you, that, you, that's what happens. You've definitely got pieces like this. Me? Yeah, that aren't prepared properly and fall apart very quickly. <laughs> when? What comes to mind? Uh. Baker's Dozen, not painted in a few years, naturally decided I should do that first. I love how this person's recorded the whole thing. Yep. Okay, so we're going with some nice blue colour. I've not painted because I've developed tremors and been scared to paint again. Oh, don't be scared. That's cool. Oh, look, it's not as bad as it could have yeah, been. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't see any huge problem here. 
I think the paper would be wrong for the paint and so everything sort of warped a little bit. So that's a pretty, you know, basic um, materials thing. Mm. So like, and it's your first painting. So you just sort of think, oh, you paint on something. It's not quite as simple as that because paper absorbs moisture. Yet again, it's a really no another really involved artist comment on their own work there, isn't there? This person's <laughs> put a lot of effort to painting, painting the, the poo. poo. Yeah, rather than just writing you. <laughs> you know how they feel about their work when they paint a poo with detail of like flies. flies. Yeah, that's great. But I don't think it's poo worthy. Paint a fox for my sister. That's the reference. That's the reference. You're oh, getting that, too excited. I was. I was Did you excited. Think that was the <laughs> that's amazing. That's so cute. All right, just hold that thought. Okay. <laughs> It's still cute. It's not the same, Thing. but it's cute. The, yeah. Oh, and she wants to paint over it. No, keep it. Keep your early stuff. Keep your bad stuff. You have to, you need to be able to look back. Some of my worst disasters. Ooh. I'm gonna be honest, this is sort of fun. Like, it's interesting. It is interesting. If I saw that, I'd be like, you wouldn't think bad art. No. You just sort of think, What's That's the artist's intention yeah. here? What's the message What were they going for? Yes. What are they saying? So they're watching this on their phone, on the toilet, as we all do. Oh, I did meet you a few years ago. And you made me that artwork that yeah. I took home. All right, uh, now you're showing me your worst artwork. Okay, what, what you got? Is this the one that broke her? Yeah, this is a tragedy. We're seeing like yeah. this is a talented person. There who, was this one drawing that they did that they were so ashamed of. They quit art. That was it. I mean, it's a substantial. F I did look at that and think it's her halfway done drawing. Oh no! Knowing what Markiplier looks like, that forehead is noticeably large. There's nothing wrong with a large forehead, and all you large forehead people out there, and on the larger side of noses. You're beautiful just the way you are. Ain't that right? Yes. <laughs> what are you what are you doing to me? What are you Oh. What are you what is this? People I make up. I didn't give you permission to make an art disaster out of me. Emo Jazza! Wow. Do you reckon I could pull off that look? No. No. <laughs> like they've literally they've literally drawn the mouth and then just flipped it upside down. Because that is the mouth. As I drew Upside it. Down. Upside down. I love it. Yeah. I also love that they've renamed you. Just Jazza. Jazza. Yeah. One Z. I like emo Jazza. <laughs> Do you? No. Oh. <laughs> I really hate this painting. I did it just because I wanted to paint something. I messed up pretty much everything on it. I need to practice painting more, especially people think I'm fairly good at portraits, but not painting them. Ah, uh, fair enough. If I did see someone walking down the street like this, I would definitely be perturbed. If you're going for, yeah, if you go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't exactly- It looks exactly like a character from Rick and Morty, which is great, I love Rick and Morty. But we don't often see many people that look like that. No. Proportions, proportion, proportion, proportion. Everyone says the, the same problem. thing about proportions. Yeah. And this was done from a reference. You can see it's, it's the same lesson, people. If you're drawing from reference, follow the shades and tones, not the lines and what you think you see. That does look like a character from Coraline. I would agree this is definitely a disaster. It does look, if you found that in your attic, you would be concerned I about would. the people who lived there previously. I would be concerned about the sewing skills. It's a learning piece. Lizzie LK, my, my worst artworks from 2016. The biggest, if I look at this, it's a Donald tiny Trump Tiny hand. Vibes. Donald Trump, tiny hands. I don't know why I said Donald Trump. That doesn't look like Donald Trump. It does. <laughs> Is it a port supposed to be a portrait of Donald Trump? Because that would be a disaster. Yeah, this is the worst portrait of Donald Trump that I've we've ever seen. seen. Spot on with the hands, though. <laughs> There's your reference, Jin Erso from Star Wars Rogue One. <laughs> she looks really concerned She's about perturbed. the actress who plays. She's perturbed. She's like, yeah. <laughs> it's actually really well done. Yeah. There's no disaster there except. The expression is probably not what you were after. She is forever gonna look concerned about whatever's on her left. <laughs> Doesn't matter what it is. Do you know what I think she's concerned about? On the left of this video, and the play bar is the video running out. That's really concerning, but you know what? There's a way to alleviate that. Subscribe for the next video.
That's a segue right there, baby. Thank you for joining Thanks us to today. Thanks everyone this for was submitting really fun. all yeah. of those. I just, I'm so impressed with everyone. And it takes bravery to share our most vulnerable parts. And uh, I didn't ask anyone to share their most vulnerable parts. Could have phrased that differently. <laughs> Please don't send in your vulnerable parts using the hashtag dessert stuff. Oh God. Just send in your disasters. That's it. That's all we want. That's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.